Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So today lecture we are all going to discuss few more uh, applications of the statement that the null space, if the null space of the matrix A is only the 0 null space then the corresponding matrix if it is a, a square matrix is a non singular matrix. So that we are going to take the application uh, based on this one. So let us do that. So today we are going to discuss about one more term and that is very uh, useful these days. So now suppose Suppose we have data, suppose we have data points, let I just take x and y axis and suppose I have some data points are ga given to me. So these data points can be anywhere and suppose this data I can write as x1 y1 it is x2 y2 x3 y3 these are the coordinates and this is suppose xn yn. So in this case suppose I have m number of elements. So suppose we have the data points that is x1 y1 maybe I can write x1, y1, x2, y2, xm, ym. So m number of points are there, number of points. So this is the data points are given to us and now suppose I just want to interpolate this poly, uh, these points with the polynomial. So now what I do is that I just take a polynomial passing through this point. So suppose this is the polynomial I suppose I have going from here then reaching here this one suppose this is the point here suppose this is not the point it is just maybe this point is there. So let us suppose I have this number of points and I take a polynomial that is passing from these points. But some student says that I can draw another polynomial not like this one maybe I can have a polynomial like this one going from here then this one passing through all points and then this one. Maybe some other students can plot another polynomial like this one. this polynomial. So by this way we can have a large number of polynomials we can show and which is passing through these points. So based on this one I just give you one statement that given a set of m points so I take the set S as points are given to me x1, y1. It means this is my corresponding x1 and this is the point corresponding to this so that is y1. So x1, y1, x2, y2 and this is x, m, y, m. So m number of points are there given to me in which each x i is not equal to x j means all points are distinct. This is my x1, this is corresponding to x2, this is maybe x3 and this is the last one is xn. So all my x i's are different we know that one. It means we are taking the point 
at this point and this point and this point only once never two times. So that is we are taking then so we give the statement then there exist a polynomial or maybe I can say there exist a unique polynomial that I write as a PT as alpha 0 plus alpha 1 t alpha 2 t square up to alpha m minus 1 t m minus 1 of degree. So, its degree is m minus 1 that passes through each point in S. So, it shows you that first thing is that we are going to have a unique polynomial and its degree will be always m minus 1 because we know that we suppose we have a two points then we can have a, a line passing through this one. So, it is of degree 1 when we have a three points suppose I have 1, 2, 3. So, we can have a quadratic polynomial from this one. So, we have a three points but it is going to have a only quadratic. So, we have m points we are going to have a unique polynomial of degree m minus 1. So, this is a degree m minus 1 that is passing through all points. So, from here one thing is clear that we have drawn three different type of polynomial but by this theorem we are going to show that only one polynomial that is a unique polynomial is going to pass through all this point. So, this one we are going to use now. So, the proof of this one. So, in this case we are going to have a unique polynomial. So, given that polynomial at x 1 should be equal to y 1 because it is passing through this point. So, passing through means, means point that if I take p x 1 then it should be equal to y 1 which implies that alpha 0 plus alpha 1 x 1 alpha 2 x 2 sorry alpha 2 x 1 square alpha m minus 1 x 1 m minus 1 should be equal to y 1. Similarly, because it is going to pass through all points. So, given that given p t is passing through all points. It means that p x 1 should be equal to y 1, p x 2 should be equal to y 2 and p x m should be equal to y m. So, from here I can write as alpha 0 another equation I can write as alpha 0 plus alpha 1 x 2 plus alpha 2 x 2 square alpha m minus 1 x 2 m minus 1 that should be equal to y 2. And similarly I can write the last one alpha 0 alpha 1 x m alpha 2 x m square alpha m minus 1 x m raise to power m minus 1 that should be equal to y m. So, this is we are going to have. So, this is basically if you see it is a system of equation. So, from here I can write this system as 1 x 1 x 1 square 
x 1 cube and the last I can write x 1 raised to power m minus 1, 1 x 2 x 2 square x 2 cube x 2 m minus 1. So, this is the way we can write the corresponding matrix. So, it is x 1 and then x m x m square x m cube x m m minus 1 and this is alpha 0, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha m minus 1. So, this is a m cross m matrix and this is m cross 1 matrix and that is equal to y 1, y 2 up to y m. So, I going to have a system. So, I just write this as equation number 1. So, now if you see from here this corresponding matrix. So, it has some special name and that is this matrix is called Vandermont matrix. Okay, so, and represented by V. So, it is just the matrix a 1 x 1 x 1 square like this one. So, it is called the vendor mode matrix and suppose this uh, alpha I just write as maybe some capital alpha and this is I can write as B. So, I get the system V alpha is equal to B. So, that is the system we are going to have. Now, I am going to show that this is a unique one. So, this polynomial is unique. So, this polynomial is unique means the solution of this system should be unique. Now, for the system 1 to have unique solution we have to show that that the matrix v is non singular because if it is a non singular only then we are going to have a unique solution that we already know from the matrix theory so which implies that we need to show that null space of the matrix V is just a containing the 0 element. So, this is equivalent to saying that null space of V is equal to 0 that we have already seen in the previous results. So, now we are going to show these things. Now, what are you going to have? So, I want to show this thing now. So, let us write. So, we can have corresponding homogeneous system as V alpha is equal to 0, where V is this matrix and alpha is this value. Now, from here we have, so V alpha is equal to 0. So, from V we, have, we, we can write from here that and alpha is made up of this alpha 0, alpha 1, alpha 2 like this one. So, from here I can write we have or maybe we can write, we can write so, I can just write is 2. System 2 as. So, I just write the first one. So, first one will be alpha 0 plus alpha 1 x 1 plus alpha 2 x 1 square 
up to alpha m minus 1 x 1 m minus 1 equal to 0. So, this is the first equation. Okay. So, similarly now this is the first equation I am going to write. So, this is the first equation I am writing now which implies if you see from here that I am putting the x 1 in the given polynomial and put getting the value equal to 0 which implies that p x 1 is going to be 0 which implies that x 1 is a root of the polynomial p t. So, this is the polynomial I have p t. So, that the polynomial we have defined this one and it is going to show that x 1 is a root of this p t by this way. So, similarly we can show that that alpha 0 plus alpha 1 x i alpha 2 x i square alpha m minus 1 x i m minus 1 equal to 0 for i is equal to 2 3 4 sorry 2 3 4 and this is going to be up to x m m which implies that x 2 x 3 all x m are, are the roots of the polynomial p t that we have defined. So, from here so one thing is to that since since the polynomial p t is of degree m minus 1. We know that the polynomial is of degree m minus 1, but it has distinct it has so, you can see from here it has m distinct roots. It is of degree m minus 1, but it is having m distinct root that is x 1, x 2 up to x m that we have showed from here this one. But that we know that by the fundamental theorem of algebra that guarantees that if p t is not a 0 polynomial then p t can have at most m minus 1 distinct roots because if it is a of degree m minus 1 then it can have a maximum m minus 1 distinct root. So, which implies that my p t should be 0 polynomial, but that is not the 0 polynomial we have taken this one passing through this point. So, which implies that that this is the only possibility that alpha 0 
alpha 1, alpha 2, all this alpha m minus 1. should be equal to 0. So, it shows that this polynomial should be equal to 0 itself only and which implies. So, if all these alpha is are 0 then from the system 1 from the system 2 I can say that which implies that V alpha is equal to 0 gives you that alpha belongs to the null space of V because it is going to 0 and null space of V contain only 0 element because definitely alpha will be definitely in the null space of V and the values I am getting alpha 0, alpha 1, alpha 2 all these values I am getting 0. So, null space will contain only this element only 0 element. So, that implies that the corresponding matrix V is non singular and if it is a non singular matrix. So, which implies that V alpha is equal to B is going to have unique solution and that solution I can write as V inverse P. So, if it is going to have a unique solution it means the alpha i's we are going to get in this case are unique. So, from here I can say that my polynomial P t is unique. So, whatever the points you are taking you can draw different different polynomials, but from by this theorem we are going we have shown that only a unique polynomials is going to be that passing through the all the points. So, that is the proof of this one. So, this polynomial will be unique and this polynomial you can find with a different different way, but this is going to be unique if it is passing through all the point. So, that is one of the application of this property of null space containing null space is going to be only 0 space. So, this is one of the application we have taken. Another application I want to apply I want to show you. Now, so this is application we are going to discuss. Suppose I take let I have a vector space V is a vector space of real valued functions of a real variable. And let I take a set S which contain n number of functions coming from this one. So, be a set of functions that are n minus 1 times differentiable. It means that each f i x belongs to the vector space V and n times and n minus 1 times differentiable. So, that is the meaning of this one. Okay, so, and the set S is there. Now, so, then 
then the there is a word term ROMS key or we also some books write like a Ronskian. Then the Ronskian matrix or Ronsky matrix, so that this is the matrix we are going to write F1x, F2x, Fnx. So, I am going to write this matrix with the function. Second row is just the derivative. taking the derivative of each function and similarly I can go and I can take n minus 1 time derivative and writing in the same column. So, I get this matrix it is n cross n matrix and we call it Ronsky matrix. So, this matrix I have written. Now, so now is the statement this is what we are now if there is at least one point that is x is equal to x naught. So, x is below basically x belongs to some interval in the given domain. So, this, this is statement if there is at least one point x equal to x naught such that the value of the Ronsky on at at x naught. So, x naught at x naught it is a just a matrix of uh, numbers. So, is non singular then the set s is is linearly independent for all x. So, this is my statement s means statement that whatever we are going to do is that I take a vector space and suppose that vector space is made up of functions and suppose I take a set s and somebody ask me ok tell me whether this set is linearly independent or dependent then how we are going to check whether this set is linearly independent or dependent. So, this is what the way we are going to do. So, and in this case we are finding that these functions are n minus 1 times differentiable. Then we have written the Ronsky matrix and then we say that if I choose any point only one point x equal to x naught and I found that at this point this Ronsky matrix is non singular then just I can say from there that this set S is going to be linearly independent. Okay, so, that is the powerful way that only one point if it is satisfying it is satisfying for all. So, this one we are going to prove. So, let us do this one proof. We basically we want to prove that the set S of the function f 1 x, f 2 x, f n x is linearly independent. So, this one we want to show. Okay. So, suppose I have a function and I want to show the linear bended. So, which implies that I will take some scalars maybe I can write alpha 1 f 1 x alpha 2 f 2 x alpha n f n x is equal to 0. So, this is what I taken the linear combination 
putting equal to 0. So, this is my linear combination and I am putting equal to 0. So, this one we have taken. Now, after doing this one, so this is my maybe I can write this is equation number 1. Now, how to prove this one? So, I will do differentiate equation 1 and minus 1 times with respect to x because I have assumed that my functions are differentiable and it can have n minus 1 times differentiable function even. So, I can write here f 1 f 1 dash x plus alpha 2 f 2 dash x alpha n f n dash x equal to 0 and I can write alpha 1 f 1 n minus 1 times differentiable alpha 2 f 2 n minus 1 to derivative alpha n f n I am taking n minus 1 time derivative of this one and that is also coming 0. So, from here I can write this system as f 1 x f 2 x f n x okay, f 1 dash f 2 dash like this one f n dash I am just writing. So, it is understood as a function of n and from here I can write f 1 n minus 1 derivative f 2 n minus 1 derivative and f n n minus 1 derivative and I can write from here alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n and this can be 0 0 0. So, this system I, I write is 2 and now from here this can be written as you can write from here that this becomes a Ronskian matrix. So, because this is a Ronskian matrix and it is a alpha. So, I can write as a alpha equal to 0. So, this is a system I can write as a 3 equation 3 where alpha is basically alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n. Now, so it is given to me, now given so from here it is a homogeneous system. So, homogeneous system is basically from here I can write that alpha belongs to the null space of Ronsky matrix. Also, now it is given to me that for x is equal to x naught, alpha will belongs to the null space of not because it is true for all x. So, if I am choose just x equal to x naught then definitely alpha will be there, but null space of is just the 0 element it is written from here that if there is at least one point where the this uh, matrix is non singular. So, it means if it is a non 0 it means that the null space of this is going to have only one element. So, which implies that my alpha should be 0 and which implies that my alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 up to alpha n all should be 0 and if it is 0 then it shows that the function f 1 x f 2 x f n x are linearly independent for all x because here we are represent, representing with just one point and then shows it shows that the alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha i is all are 0 
and it this is the linear combination I have taken and from this linear combination we found that alpha 1, alpha 2 all are 0 and it is true for all x in this case now. So from here I can say that this is linearly independent for all x so which shows that S is linearly independent set and that is true for all x. So this way we can prove the set of functions whether they are linearly independent or dependent. So after this we will stop here. So today we have discussed uh, uh, two important applications of the, the statement about the null space, zero null space corresponding to the given matrix and we have showed that the interpreting polynomial for the given data is always unique and then we have showed that how we can check the given set of functions to be either linearly independent and dependent. So I hope you have enjoyed this lecture, thanks for watching, thanks very much. Thank you.